hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i mean it's so i feel so happy doing this every time i come back i don't know why i feel so excited having you guys are back on my page i'm so happy to have you guys back on my page oh welcome to my youtube channel and as you all know my name is chilima wamara if it's your first time stopping by please do also subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you could get notified whenever i post a new video like also please like comment and share this video so on today's video based on demand right i'll be talking about my journey to cipm and of course how i got inducted hmm so this is something i would like to share by the way people have been asking me how did you get inducted what's cipm what's in cipm what does it take to be a member of cipm you know a lot of questions so i'm going to be addressing those questions on this video so if you know a friend or you know someone that intends to be satisfied um, via cipm examination route please um share this video to them because i'm going to be sharing my experience you know um with cipm and how i got inducted so <laughs> all right so sometime last year 2022 january i met someone on linkedin her name is fumi shout out to fumi and i reached out to her so i saw that she had this acipm title attached to her name and i got in dear to that i'm like ah, who is this girl so i reached out to her by the way we're friends now and um so we got talking and she she was not like she asked her asking me uh, have you um are you certified via CIP, cipm and all that i'm like cipm the thing is and i've always known about cipm but i didn't take it serious serious on that particular day something just struck and we started discussing about career growth and all of that so so fortunately for me that conversation happened january 2022 so and it was within the timeline for registration so immediately that after that conversation with her i had to go to the site and register for cipm and i started from intermediate two because of the qualification i have you know so intermediate two requires you to have at least bsc you know so for you to be able to start the journey so we have foundation one foundation two intermediate one intermediate two professional one and professional two so i started from intermediate two that have to go through three stages for me to be inducted men and brethren i registered i paid the money i did everything and i had access to the study packs <laughs> so you know when <laughs> you know when you when what you ordered versus what you got you know and when i opened the study packs men and brethren it was not what i, I was expecting i was like is this what I'm going to read to pass this exam? Or is there something else? Because this is not this exam is not even a, is not a physical, is you don't have to go to any physical center to write this exam, right? It is online and it's multi-choice. So my, my my mindset has always been that multi-choice questions are cheap. But CIPM proved me otherwise. <laughs> God, I don't know why this is funny for me. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny, but it's not funny, right? So, um, I so intermediate two, we have I wrote for four courses. Now I'm talking about voluminous courses. Do you know what it means for you to have left school four years, and then you're going back to start reading voluminous study packs? I'm talking about courses. A course is like two hundred something pages, two hundred something pages. In fact, none of those courses was less than two hundred pages. And I'm going to be combining this with a very tough and demanding job. And so, well, <laughs> I've already paid the money. I've already registered. I had to start the journey. So the one thing I would like to point out here is that it's very, very important for you to be mentally ready for any professional exam, in fact, for any exam you want to write, because it starts from the mindset. If you don't have the right mindset towards it, trust me, you're going to, you're not going to make it. So for me, I had that fear, oh Jesus, how am I going to cope with this exam? You know, the exam day came, I was so nervous. I had nobody in the room with me. Obviously, I wrote the exam at home because it's an online examination. So you can write it from anywhere you are in the world. It's no problem. But then I was nervous because I'm like, what am I, what will I be expecting? Will I do well? Will I answer these questions as well? Am I going to fail? So I didn't have the right mindset. That's to be honest. I didn't have the right mindset. 
So the exam is usually once in a quarter. So the exam came, came. I think I wrote the exam March. That was March 2022. That was when I wrote my first diet. I wrote workforce, learning and development, um, comparative education, and public admin. When I'm brethren, I failed one. And the one I failed was public administration because if I, I don't even know why I failed the course. Apparently, I think I didn't, that, that study pack is too voluminous. So I didn't, I didn't read it well. And I failed that course. And one good thing about CIPM is that if you fail a course, so for example, intermediate two, you have four courses, and then I failed one, that means I'm going to rewrite only one that I failed. I don't have to rewrite all the courses, but then you have to pay for that particular course you're going to rewrite. But if you fail two, if you fail two courses, you can't move to the next um, stage of the exam until you have finished or until you have passed the two that you failed. Do you understand? So March diet, I failed one. I think, so the next one was in um, professional one. I, I, I'm not quite sure if I wrote the next diet or not, but then when I was writing my next exam anyways, I had to, I added the one I failed from intermediate two to professional one. And that was like five or six courses. I can't really, I can't remember. You know, anyways, um, well, one the highlight for me um, for these three stages I wrote is the last um, professional two. That's the last one you write before you get inducted. That exam is the real Edon. The real Edon is professional two. Now I'm not saying these things to scare anybody who's preparing to write CIPM. Trust me, is I my life, my career took a good turn after CIPM, um, after studying CIP, CIPM study packs, trust me, it's going, to, it's going to expose you to things you don't know about HR, you don't know in the world of HR, even though it's theoretical, but you can, you can still you know, replicate those things in any company or industry you find yourself. Trust me, 70% or 60% of what I know in HR, I got it from those study packs, and I'm really grateful that I, I had that experience. I wrote the exam especially for um, advanced human resource management, labor relations, you know, those courses, Niger and also Nigerian labor law. Because if you don't know these things, if you don't understand labor law, you might not know how to defend um, employees, or you might not even know what the right of an employee is and how to defend employees when they face some kind of issues. Some HRs are, are ignorant of these things that they don't even know what an employee's right is and what an employee's entitlement is. So labor law actually exposed my mind to that. I still have those study facts and it's something I can always refer back to whenever I'm confused or whenever I want to gain clarity over some particular topic. So I'm not saying these things to, you know, scare anyone. So for me, the highlights of the three stages of the exam I wrote would be, like I said, professional two. <laughs> and professional two is where we write advanced human resource management two because professional one you have advanced human resource management one so for professional two you have advanced human resource management two you have nigerian labor law you have labor analysis and you have the re edo the re edo employee relations guy um, <laughs> um that course humbled a lot of persons some people fail that course four times and they are still writing it me, yeah, I failed it once. I'm not gonna lie. I failed it once. I I think my P2. I wrote my I wrote the I wrote my P2 and I passed all the courses except um um employee relations. I failed it. You know, so I had to rewrite it again. So employee relations is a very tough um is a very tough one. But of course, and the you know the reason why this thing seems like it's tough is because it's multi choice. Trust me, people that wrote CIPA when it was C theory, I would say that. They had more leverage they had more privilege because you can al always express yourself very well in theory than multi choice multi choice the answer is already there so you have to is either this or this you know so you know how multi choice is so in label analysis pack you have um you have like 85 85 percent theory and then maybe like 15 percent calculation but then when i wrote my diet i had like 90 percent calculation and 10% theory and it was not even funny because imagine and I read that course back to back I read that course back to back and thankfully I passed the course by the way 
And the reason I passed that course was because in school, I, I read economics, and so I did statistics in school. So most of what they gave us or what came out in that exam was calculation and statistics, right? So I had to use my theoretical knowledge to answer the calculation part of the, the, the questions. Um, so it's, 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 it's not really a nice one, but then the thing is just for you to be mentally prepared for it. Read the study packs back to back because you don't even know what um, you would expect. The last diet I wrote was um, my labor relations because I, I told you I failed this. I had to rewrite it. So it was more labor relations on the last diet, which was June diet, was more direct um because they use they introduced bloom taxonomy so the questions were more direct that's like, that for just cipm and the exams and how it went so for me it's, it's it's actually a very nice experience if you can have it um so like i mentioned be prepared be mentally ready be mentally prepared to write the exam ensure that you read the study packs back to back people usually say that oh cipm don't get their questions from the study pack but that's not true i don't think that's true they get you know it's multi choice though so they will look for tiny tiny details to to ask you as multi choice so it's good for you to read to understand and just read to pass the exam you know in reading to understand you're also helping yourself as a professional in the in hr because it will also help you to understand how to apply these things in the real life okay that's just my brief journey um with cipm and, and so i'm sharing with you my induction day how it went so shout out to my sister my other sister i mean she came through for me and um it's really i'm really glad that i was really very happy that she showed up for me on my induction day because the instruction was for us to invite just one person trust me if they had said invite your friends i would have appeared there with a village but, <laughs> but i said we should just invite one person and i had the uh, honor to invite my sister i'm really grateful and this is just me saying to her thank you so much for coming out she came out with my with my yard people so my niece and my nephews i call them my yard people <laughs> so she all she just packed all of them and at first i was very i was scared like are you sure they're going to accept us with the kids and all but fortunately enough they gave us that warm reception so thank you cipm for giving us a warm reception with my sister and my niece and nephews um, so I'm going to be just sharing with you all the journey that happened that day. So today is my induction and I'm really excited for today. I mean, it really means a lot to me and I'm really grateful to God for um, this day. Um, having a couple of um, challenges I had during, you know, I actually... Um, got it to CPM via examination route, there's membership route and all the rest. But I, I it was it was a lot for me but regardless I'm really grateful for this day and I'm actually on my way to oh, for my induction. I'm on my way for my induction at Speak Center VI and guess what guys so they actually asked us that we bring one invitee and I have me my sister say hello and then my yard people, I see them. My yard people. My yard people. Where is Shimobi? Shimobi. Shimobi, why are you looking? picture. See my yard people. Say hello to my subscribers. Yeah. Hi. So this is Cheesy and this is Chiamela. So guys, I'll keep you updated on how it's going in. So for now, we're still on our way and I just hope that see Chimobi hiding his face earlier. So I just hope that we get you on time because we're supposed to be seated before 10 and um, we're still on our way. This is 9.28 and we have like 22 minutes to get there, just 28 minutes or so to get there. Alright guys, bye! Say hello to my subscribers. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> oh. about me. Chima. Hey Chima. How come I see me? Hey, hey. Hello, Gee. people. These are my yard people. Bye. I don't me. This is you. And this is the mommy.
These are not just sluggers. They have vital shaping forces, but we live by them. To be inducted as school members and associate members. Ladies and gentlemen, to do this for us, I'd like to respectfully invite and welcome the chairman of the membership committee, who is well represented by Mrs. Akishala Urushimiko Okori. Please put your hands together. So this part I'm going to be showing you is the part where we're being sworn in as professionals. And for me, that was the highlight of the event that day because I'm like, and I'm giving you a badge, you know, a CIPM badge. So you had it in my speech and uh, I cannot stop to celebrate. Um, it's not easy to go through Exactly. It's not easy. Like it's not easy. Oh, I'll never show you shake. Yeah. I also want to say this. Yeah. My colleagues have said it. Are you serious? I want you to take special notes of something in what they go to read. So, guys, we're just being inducted at the moment, and um, yeah. The President, the Chairman of Governing Council, sir, I present to you by the authority of the Governing Council, the persons standing and those unavoidably absent, 360 persons involved, in the list on pages 30 to 38 of this brochure and for whom I stand to proxy and who have been found worthy in character, knowledge and practice to be admitted to the professional grade of associates of the Institute. Establishing the institute in Nigeria. Establishing the institute in Nigeria. And such regulations. And such regulations. Reviews and amendments. Reviews and amendments. Made by her governing council. Made by her governing council. In accordance to the power. On this chartered institute of my children. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of the introduction. It was very fun. It was fun. It was engaging. And of course, I learned a lot. Um, on this So for me, being inducted into CIPM is a very big one for me. And for some persons, they might see it as mm, it's not a big deal. There's nothing really, there's nothing there really. But for me, my dear, it is a big deal for me. Oh, it's a big deal. So I remember an experience I had during the last exam I wrote. It was not even funny, guys. I cried. Like literally shedding tears. I literally shed tears. So I had finished writing this diet because there there is actually a time limit that you can't submit your um test again so i'd finished writing and i knew i wrote well right then i submitted and the thing was just cycling it kept cycling i wasn't sure if it was my internet i wasn't sure if it was a glitch from 
from from dragnet end you know i wasn't really sure of what was happening and then the timeline was the time was ticking really fast i you know i had to cancel and start afresh to write i still finished writing and i couldn't still submit i was so scared i was so nervous you know ah oh, i was not crying i said god i can't write this exam i can't write this labor relations again i can't re i can't rewrite it again i can't sit for this exam again i was crying thankfully the holy spirit just directed me to go to telegram i went to the cipm group on telegram and i saw the mr yinka mr yinka is a, a of the people that coordinates the cipm exam so he said if you have been trying to submit and then it's still cycling don't worry when the exam when the time when the exam ends like when the time expires it will submit automatically ah that wasn't i had a relief i was even trying to cancel it and write again and he said sorry don't have any exam scheduled for this time ah i cried i was really nervous i said god what kind of wala is this one not until i saw that message ah that was in my mind I was not at peace i was i just i just i was just thankful i said god thank you because do you know what it means to write as like that's like taking the next three months again to write the exam i don't even know what you're going to expect again in the next exam and then it's labor relations ah i said god i beg god this should not happen anyways the result came and I scaled through successfully. I, I think I got a B. That's how my CIPM journey went and my induction was a success. Now, Hizo, I'm sorry. See, this this my choice of color is is, is go wrong, go wrong, please, go wrong. People should not imitate me. Nobody should imitate me. They said we should wear dark colored outfits. So dark colored could be brown, black, navy blue. Uh, um, dark red or ox blood wine color please nobody should imitate me i was so extra i <laughs> i wore pink and white and it's so obvious even though nobody cautioned me but in some place in the, some part of my heart i'm like oh this year we do not do well why why would we do this but my dear like, i cannot i'm not used to wearing dark colored clothes especially for events like that but please, if you should not imitate me, if you're going to be inducted, please just abide to their rules and regulations. And God will bless you. God will bless you. Okay? Keep to the rules. It's very important to abide by the rules. It's very, 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 very important. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two from this video, especially for people that are hoping to be certified, even if it's not in CIPM, in an, any other professional body. I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, this is me saying thank you again. So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, ah, oh, I want to pray good prayers for you. So please subscribe, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button to get notification whenever I post a new video. Do well to like and comment, share as well. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed vlogging and as much as I enjoyed recording this video. I'll see you in my next video. God willing. See you. Bye.